Hello dear learners today i welcome you all to the video session on mcqs we are going to discuss the mcqs from pharmaceutical chemistry on anti epileptic drugs which are also called as anti convulsant drugs why because in epilepsy there are convulsions so when this epileptic uh, means seizures are with convulsions it is epilepsy and when the seizures are without convulsions it is non epileptic seizure so we are going to have a detailed discussion on this but for this time you are supposed to remember time being that anti epileptic drugs are also known as anti convulsant drugs that means there are convulsions in epilepsy so what are they we'll see to start with mcqs the first question is anti epileptic drugs are also known as dash whether they are known as anti neoplastic drug whether anti convulsant drug whether thymoleptics or none of them the correct answer is it is anti convulsant drug which we just now discussed that anti epileptic drugs are also known as anti convulsant drug why anti convulsant because in epilepsy seizures are with convulsions when seizures are with convulsions they are epilepsy it is epilepsy and when seizures are without convulsions it is non epileptic seizure so next question is group of neurological disorder with loss or disturbances of consciousness it is a group of disorder with loss or disturbance of consciousness with or without body movement is called as whether it is depression whether it is epilepsy whether it is convulsion or none of them the correct answer is it is epilepsy why not convulsion because convulsion is a single phenomenon which is occurring and epilepsy is a uh, you can call it as multiple convulsions so it is group of neurological disorders so it is epilepsy next question how we can describe this we will see with the help of this image like epilepsy sabse bada then seizure then convulsion it means what in epilepsy there are seizures but these seizures can be with convulsion when it is epilepsy and when it is not an epilepsy these seizures are without convulsions so as you can see here i have made the arrows when seizures are with convulsions it is epileptic attack when seizures are without convulsion it is non epileptic attack and a seizure can be a single seizure or single uh, like uh, activity but whereas epilepsy is having two or more than two seizures it is epilepsy and convulsion is a type of seizure seizure is associated with electrical storm that means electrical firing fire too quickly means brain fire too quickly causing an electrical storm whereas convulsion is a type of seizure convulsions are basically associated with muscle jerks and seizure is electrical activity so if you will see the difference between these three sabse chhota is convulsion then seizure and then epilepsy so epilepsy is the king when convulsions see a patient may have epilepsy or a seizure without convulsion when it is without convulsion it is non epileptic and when the seizure is with convulsion it is epilepsy epilepsy is periodic recurrence of seizure that means it is a episode of seizure so it is a group of disorder and seizure is simply an electrical uh, discharge or electrical activity which is occurring in the brain burst of electrical activity so there are basically two types of seizures generalized seizures and focal seizure focals are restricted to particular area uh, you can call it as like uh, temporal area or frontal area and generalized seizures are as you can see here they have highlighted with complete red it is uh, not restricted to particular area it is general overall complete area in the brain next you can see here this 
classification says that in par there are Caesars, partial Caesars are there and generalized Caesars are there. In generalized Caesars, absent Caesars are there and in partial, simple and complex Caesars can be there. So, this partial Caesars where consciousness is there and in generalized Caesars, consciousness is lost. So, here in partial simple complex it is alter, altered awareness and in absence it is muscle contraction with or without loss of consciousness. So, this is generalized, this is partial, basically two major types. In detail we will discuss in the theory uh, video lectures. Next question is, drugs used in prevention and control of epileptic seizures are whether they are anti-epileptic drug, anti-neoplastic drug, anti-cancer drug or thymoleptics? The correct answer is it is anti-epileptic drug since they are used in prevention and control of epileptic seizures. Next question is, which among these is not a type of epilepsy? Whether it is grand mal epilepsy, petit mal epilepsy, psychomotor seizure or analgesia? The correct answer is it is analgesia because according to the types of epilepsy grand mal epilepsy which is a generalized epilepsy and petit mal epilepsy which is ap which is also known as absent seizures and here in case of grand mal epilepsy it is also known as tonic clonic seizures so as you can see the expressions a uh, tonic in tonic phase there is contraction and in clonic phase uh, you can see here it is uh, body has become stiff so tonic followed by clonic it is tonic clonic and petit mal epilepsy it is blank expression so it is also known as absence seizures then next question is epileptic attack lasts for whether it is 2 to 5 minutes 2 to 3 minutes 5 to 30 second or 20 to 30 second the correct answer is it is 2 to 5 minutes. Generally, it is 2 to 2 minutes or it is, it should be actually less than 5 minutes. If it is more than 5 minutes, if it exceeds 5 minutes, then it is an emergency condition. So, normal epileptic attack is less than 5 minutes only from 2 to 5 minutes. Next question is, no memory of incidence remains in dash type of seizure. Now, according to the types of seizure which we have seen, grand mal and petit mal along with psychomotor seizures are also there. So, which type of seizure is such that where no memory of incidents will remain uh, to the, uh, uh, particular to that attack? So, whether it is grand mal epilepsy, petit mal epilepsy, psychomotor seizure or tonic clonic seizure? The correct answer is it is psychomotor seizure because grand mal and tonic clonic is one and the same. And petit mal is absent seizure and the third type which is psychomotor seizure which is a partial complex type of seizure. So, in this uh, where it is limited to the temporal lobe of the brain, it is uh, characterized by automatic pattern body movements which last for 2 to 3 minutes and here in this case of seizure, uh, no memory of incidence will remain uh, in the patient. Next, you can see here, it is complex partial seizure. As we discussed about the psychomotor seizure, which are complex partial seizures, they are limited to the temporal lobe. As you can see here, all the lobes, frontal, parietal, occipital, temporal. Okay. So, here in case of psychomotor, uh, basic like symptoms are uh, chewing movements, uh, difficulty, wetting lips and then uh, automatism. Uh, picking at clothing etc. These are the symptoms. So, this is limited to the temporal lobe where the no where uh, means you will not uh, memorize the incidents whatever has happened the patient. It is C as you can see here it is limited to temporal lobe or frontal lobe frontal lobe epilepsy and temporal lobe epilepsy. Next question is the type of epileptic seizure which is more common in children is whether it is grand mal, petit mal, psychomotor or tonic clonic. The correct answer is it is 
पेटिट माल एपिलेप्सी विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एप्सेंस सीजर द वे आई हैव शोड यू द इमेज द स्मॉल किड वॉज एक्सप्रेसिंग द ब्लैंक मीन्स नो एक्सप्रेशन वर देर सो इट इज पेटिट माल विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एप्सेंस सीजर जनरली इट इज इन किड्स लाइक इन चिल्ड्रन्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द टाइप ऑफ एपिलेप्टिक सीजर विच इज मोर कॉमन इन चिल्ड्रन इज जस्ट नाउ वी डिस्कस्ड द करेक्ट आंसर इज इट इज पेटिट माल एपिलेप्सी विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एप्सेन सीजर विच इज अ जनरलाइज सीजर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द टाइप ऑफ एपिलेप्टिक सीजर इन विच नो लॉस ऑफ ब्रीफ कॉन्शियसनेस अकर्स and person becomes immediately alert that means which epileptic seizure or which epilep uh, epileptic type is such that wherein no loss of consciousness is there and person becomes immediately alert after that attack so whether it is grand mal petit mal psychomotor or analgesia the correct answer is it is again petit mal epilepsy wherein uh, person becomes immediately alert after the epileptic seizure next question is anti epileptic from barbiturate class is whether it is phenobarbital phenytoin diazepam none of them the correct answer is it is phenobarbital it is also known as phenobarbitone which you very well know it belongs to the barbituric acid derivative or barbiturate class next question is phenytoin belongs to dash whether it is uh, from hydantoin class बेन्जोडाइजेपिन क्लास मिसलेनियस क्लास और सक्सिनिमाइड्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज इट इज हाइडेंटोइन अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एंटी एपिलेप्टिक ड्रग्स देर आर लाइक अराउंड अबाउट सिक्स क्लासेज यू कैन कैटेगराइज सच एज बार्बिचुरेट्स विच वी विच वी हैव अर्लियर सीन इन द क्वेश्चन द एग्जाम्पल्स आर फेनो बार्बिटोन मेथो बार्बिटोन मेफो बार्बिटोन देन नेक्स्ट क्लास इज हाइडेंटोइन वेर इन फिनाइटोइन एंड मेफेनाइटोइन आर देर then oxazolidine dion is there succinimide is there benzodiazepine is there and miscellaneous is there so what are they we will see one by one along with the help of one question so phenytoin belongs to hydantoin class which in also includes mephenytoin next question is dash antiepileptic is from oxazolidine dion class now after hydantoin comes the oxazolidine dion class now as the word suggests this is oxazolidine ring which is present in oxazolidine dione means oxazolidine when there are two ketones it is oxazolidine dione so oxazolidine dione class examples among these are whether it is phenobarbital phenytoin diazepam or trimethadione the correct answer is it is trimethadione in name itself it is diones and dione so it is trimethadione next question is which of the given is not succinimide whether it is etho ethosuximide fensuximide methsuximide or exuximide the correct answer is it is exuximide because succinimides are ethosuximide fensuximide methsuximide etc next question is which of the given is from miscellaneous antiepileptic class so miscellaneous antiepileptic includes whether it is ethosuximide fensuximide methsuximide or valproic acid so if you will see the above examples or sar succinimides so the correct answer is it is valproic acid and along with valproic acid other miscellaneous examples are carbamazepine which is uh, tca mm, which is chemically similar to tricyclic antidepressant then फेनासिमाइड इज देयर देन गाबा पेंटीन इज ऑल्सो देयर सो ऑल दीज आर फ्रॉम मिसलेनियस क्लास नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डैश हेटेरोसाइकल इज प्रेजेंट इन फिनाइटोइन सो बिफोर गोइंग टू द हेटेरोसाइकल प्रेजेंट इन द फिनाइटोइन वी शुड नो द स्ट्रक्चर सिंस इट बिलोंग्स टू हाइडेंटोइन क्लास द स्ट्रक्चर हियर यू कैन सी इट इज दिस name is phenytoin so these are two phenyls and this is ring which is present in the phenytoin so this ring which you could make out there are two aza nitrogens so it is diaza diaza will be there 
and these are two ohms so it is imida imidazolid imidazolidine wherein you can see here it is five membered saturated ring when it is containing nitrogen five membered saturated ring containing nitrogen the suffix is uh, olidine so for this you can refer our previous videos on heterocyclic compounds wherein you will get the detailed description about the suffixes from various uh, rings like five member ring six member rings four member rings etc so this is imidazolidine ring and these are two ohms so it is dions but the basic is imidazolidine so it is imidazolidine ring which is present in the phenytoin with this here we finish with few of the mcqs from anti epileptic drugs stay tuned for next part of anti epileptic drugs wherein we are going to cover more structures from the epilepsy anti epileptic drugs about their general structures their examples and uh, uh, about the brands uh, or structural uh, correlativity means uh, which class is relating to which another class thank you